How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Steep Rising Let's Play Part 28. So, doing a little voiceover here for the video. Um, but basically, we are back in Mamantra and we're going on the path to the best team. So, if anybody has not seen any episodes of them till this point, the playlist will be in the description as well as some other goodies so we're heading back down here to head down to the to the path to the bestie take at this point taking care of all the side activities because we were being told that proceeding any further was kind of a a little bit of a uh, point of no return. So, they're heading in. That's the elevator that we came up. So, we're taking the little side tunnel here. To proceed if I to take the one more step, there will bestie. be no turning back. This path will lead me straight to the Cartier du Temple. Yeah. I'm doing your voiceover because, um, silly me, I was talking this whole time and uh, did not realize that my bike was on mute. Um, the mute button is my sworn enemy, I swear. So, didn't want to leave you guys with a video with no commentary. Personally, I find that kind of weird in a Let's Play. So. Gotta kind of experience the, uh, experience the game with the person playing and hear their reactions and whatnot to everything. So, unfortunately, I mean, in this case, it's not a live reaction because I've already played this section, but I want to leave you guys hanging, not having any commentary. So we're just checking around where to go. more winding paths in the tunnels here to confuse me just checking all the, the nooks and crannies for items now with uh, shooting laser beams and stuff at us. It's funny how the spiders made their debut in the game and uh, they have not uh, they have not let up since. Just been everywhere since then. I'm interested to, to find out like what exactly the different spiders do for buffs. Um, I need to look that up because some of them, uh, you know, kind of look, they look like they're like crushing an item under them and they turn all uh, like a blue 
aura. Almost like um, what the unstable automats look like almost. Um, and then the other ones have, uh, some of the other ones have like a, uh, like a gold glow. So I'm wondering what uh, those different buffs actually do. Provided it, it is even a buff. You know. So we got a little drop a point here. If I remember right, this was uh, kind of place was kind of odd to navigate. Lots of uh, lots of grapple points and spots you should uh, you could potentially fall to your death. I don't think I had any gravity deaths. Trying to figure out where to go. Best spots for platforming here. Item over there. That I missed. <laughs> these guys. So for those who have played this game, I'm curious, let me know in the comments how you guys felt about the game, whether you finished it or you're still working on it. Let me know how, what you guys think, how you're doing with it. I honestly thought uh, I'm still not done with it yet, uh, nearing the end, but I found that it wasn't super challenging. Um, I had a I had some issues in the beginning with the uh, Tuileries. I think that's how you pronounce it. Thanks to a viewer that corrected me. Uh, I think I think um, just I was kind of low low level at that point and uh, the. Uh, not really realizing how the uh, the fulmination, the lightning damage, um, you know, made you take extra damage if you were under that that status ailment or elemental affliction, whatever you want to call it. But once um, I don't know, once you level up to a certain point in the game, it's like kind of. It's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of like easy mode from there, uh, from there on out. You can basically, yeah. And this is a, this is a 
dex build too, you know, the agility build. I honestly thought I would have had a little bit of trouble, you know, most of the way through the game with it. But the fact with the, you know, the immobilization and the, uh, the critical hits seemed to do pretty well. I mean, if I would have, <laughs> if I would have done my strength build how I wanted to do it, especially with that, I feel like that uh, volley mallet uh, that we picked up in the um, the boss room of the the bishop there of uh, La Cité. Uh, if I would have done a strength build and used that, I would have basically smashed the entire game. Like it would have been ridiculous. Um, I may do another playthrough potentially with that just to see like how ridiculous it could be. Just do like super poise and um, pump up durability and power and just smash the entire game. I mean, it's not hard to do, like I said. It's you reach a certain point in the game, you definitely just smash the shit out of everything. And it, the difficulty level really doesn't become much of a factor anymore. I mean, it's nice that they put that assisted mode in, but I feel like, honestly, it really wasn't, it really wasn't needed, in my opinion. But being a visually handicapped person, you know, I see the, I see the appeal for it, and I'm all, you know, I'm all for it. Um, certainly, if my vision, if my vision was worse, and you know, I need, they were, I haven't even looked at what types of options are in there, but if I was in a worse position visually, you know, I'd, uh, I'd definitely be potentially using some of those options. Putting this guy on this cliff here, and it's a little, it's a little dicey. But we get it done. This spot in particular it took me a minute to uh, figure out where I was going. So I was here in the uh, the bugle bot. The guys just didn't know where they were at. way. Did not expect that beam to be like the path up. Didn't look like something you could potentially jump on. I said it before, but I I definitely like the the fire and ice, but uh, I could really be going absolutely nuts and using the 
the Nemesis Claws, since those get a an A in agility. And, uh, I mean, the damage that they do and the immobilization would just be insane, but I do like the Fire and Ice, the fact that they have, uh, if you get a parry, they do the, uh, the elemental afflictions. Not, you know, not crazy amounts, but, uh, decent, decent amount. Here come folks, kicking in the door. Chalky boy over there. So we gotta find a way around. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. everything. Lots of stuff around the break. Gotta do it. Trying to figure out where to go. Odd ch choice there as well, hopping over that for progression. Normally, if a side path is kind of blocked off, normally you can't jump over it. So, after a while, you stop checking. Do 
do love how enemies can hurt each other in the game. Definitely makes for some comical moments. for a lever to raise that gate. Had to go back for the barrels. And now we're getting loaded into the bestie. Which was kind of a kind of an abrupt uh load in, but uh nevertheless. I thought that this was funny. You come, come into this room from another, another staircase, and like suddenly it's like gone. At that point, when she said that, I uh, I did remember that I meant to check the carriage for new items, and at this point, I hadn't. So I was like, "Oh shit, I meant to check the carriage for new stuff," but I don't think there was really anything new anyway. So if you're in that same position, don't worry about it. So I'm checking the, the boutique and the Vestal, if there's anything new, which there really isn't. Break everything. I think it's just mandatory. It's mandatory in a soul's like need to break things. Uncover all the goodies. And sometimes it helps to uh, potentially get frustrations out as well. struggling on a particular area or a boss destroying all, all the barrels or boxes or what have you it's a good uh, good way to get your frustrations out the two spots on like Bloodborne that had like the most like breakable things like that. And, like that 
trying to like, uh, I think it was like a, like a little underground room in Cathedral Ward where you get like your first, uh, I think you get, uh, I forget what you get there. Like one of your first blood gems. Um, and then the other one is like, you know, had all the faces and stuff in there that you could break. And then like there was the other one by, uh, in Upper Cathedral Ward. Um, right before that big door, uh, that you get the key from, um, oh god, what's, um, the Everjail, or not Everjail, <laughs> that's Elden Ring, uh, Hippogene Jail, um, you get the key from there to open that door in Upper, upper Cathedral Ward to actually enter that area, but that big door there had a bunch of faces and stuff. I think those were the two spots in that game that uh, had the had the most like breakable stuff in like one area. Always fun to roll through all that. his parry. Those dudes are funny. They look like... Uh, what's his name? Mikolash. I've said it before. With the Mensis cage on their head. That's what they look like to me. figure out how to get that item over there. I think I did eventually get it, but uh can't get it from the spot over here. Definitely can't jump on top of that thing. That I've tried like two or three times to do now. I thought for the most part the environments in the game were pretty unique. Um, they uh, they did have some areas that looked kind of similar to the other ones, but and here's a new enemy. Kind of like a beefed up one of those falcon dudes. Watch out for that. Trying to figure out how to get up to this guy. You can't right now. So I'm gonna break all the furniture instead. So here comes 
big chunky. A couple of his friends. Big chunky can get through there, but sure enough, he can. gonna do some more testing on um, in general on enemies and the different variants and who's weak to what because um, you know sometimes it's uh, it's pretty clear what you know the enemy is gonna be weak to like right there um, you know he's using frost and I hit him with fire and he's you know he caught on fire right away um, but some sometimes it's it's actually not that clear um like uh I'm trying to think of a situation where it's not but i know that i can't really think of one off the top of my head right now but i know there have been some instances where you know you try and use like the opposite um opposite element and uh they're not the enemy isn't weak to it there definitely are outliers in that sense. So we got a shortcut unlocked there. the stuff. But yeah guys, that's really about it. Um, I'm going to call the episode here. Hopefully you all are doing well. Stay tuned. More coming at you. Take care.